MLB The Show has baseball from the Valley of the Sun, Chase Field in Phoenix. Today, a contest from the NL West Division between the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's going to be fun marveling at two of the best in the game, and it's next on MLB Network. Zach Grinke, a right-hander from Florida, gets the ball as the starter here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Zach Grinke, one of the most complete pitchers in the game of baseball. Four pitch mix. I don't think anybody commands the fastball as well as Zach Grinke. Up, down, in and out, he can dot the fastball. Good curveball, good change. Has the slider that he'll throw to ball. All right, He's Chuck Nasty. Yeah. Last time we let him up game, big time in the first inning. Anybody down. Darling. First pitch what? of the at-bat. Pulled toward right center field. Calling for it, Marte. Knocks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And a moment now to peek at the Rockies starting lineup. Mark DeRosa, what's your take on him this afternoon on the road? Well, Matty, you walk into this yard today, and it's nothing but a hitter's park. But that could work against you at times. You have to stay within yourself. You can't just be turning and burning on everything. Stay within the game plan and know that a mistake doubles leaving this yard. Here's Nolan Arenado, career line against Greinke, who comes in with 16 base hits in 61 tries. And on 10 occasions, he's been a strikeout victim. Here's the first pitch now from Greinke. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. And we are in for a hot afternoon. 96 degrees at game time. Hit sharply on the ground. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. Batting third, the first baseman, number nine, Daniel. So a runner on first with one out now. And up next, postseason record holder, Daniel Murphy. He's set and the pitch. High and deep to right center. Marte is in pursuit. He gets there, and that's the second out. Damn. Two big boomers that just couldn't clear it. The shortstop, Trevor Story. So digging in now, Trevor Story. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Hey, this pitcher better watch himself right here. The way this guy's swinging, he's got aggressive things on his mind. It's a high fly ball Whoa. for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair. As Damn, that was third deck territory ball. right there. Line drive to center field. Marte is going to have room out there as he. Marte starting to, to piss me off. <laughs> I mean, this guy's good, but that's still going to piss me off. So get their first turn at it. No score. Kyle Freeland, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Former first round pick from the Denver area. This guy has really good stuff. But I think he's more of a bulldog. Good fastball, 92 to 94 miles an hour. Good hard slider. That's his main go-to pitch. But you talk to anybody around this guy that knows him, he's the ultimate competitor with the top young left-handed pitchers in the game back. right now. So stepping in, Cattell Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. In there, strike one. For his career in this matchup, he's gone three for 11. He also has one home run.
set to deliver the 0 and 1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, you find yourself down 0 2. You got to grind a little bit right here. I don't understand the game plan. Let's see if we can get this one back to even count. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. McMahon gathers it in, and the throw to first is in time, one gone. And now here's a look at the Diamondbacks starting lineup. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Matty, I'm excited to watch David Peralta play. The guy is in the middle of the lineup, and when he's in the middle, things just happen. Guys in front of him get on, he drives them in, and if not, he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. Stepping up now, Eduardo Escobar. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Right, Bottom part of the zone. A good changeup gets the call. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Earl Hendricks. Hey, you know, D-Row, the book kind of on Earl Hendricks is he likes one side of the plate or the other. Could it be where he sets up behind the catcher? It could be, Dan, but as a hitter, that's all you look for. You get, I'll, I'll give you a little bit off the outside edge if you're going to be consistent okay. with it. Behind 0-2 now. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Count remains at 0-2. him up Murphy in foul ground he hauls it in without any trouble and there are two away batting third the left fielder David Peralta now at the plate David Peralta first cuts for him here with the bases open and two away first pitch on its way and that's cut on and missed 0-1. Two out, nobody on. Now that's popped up. Arenado has room in foul territory. And that'll put an end to the inning as he brings it down on the warning track. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. And inning in the books, no score on MLB Network. Speedy outfielder David Dahl. Career line against Greinke. He's just one for six. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now turned on down the line a dive but it's off his glove and he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out okay here's how the snakes are lining up defensively and let's take a look at David Peralta. Bazooka arm in the outfield. Obviously, he was originally signed as a pitcher. Didn't work out. Reset the battery and came back as a big league outfielder. Impressive. Stepping in, Ian Desmond, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball.
lifted in the air out towards left center. Marte sprinting after it. He gets there, and that's the second out. Oh, this guy runs like a rabbit. Come on. Batting seven, the second baseman, Ryan McMahon. Riding in, Ryan McMahon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. Behind 0-2 now. No score here as we play inning number two. And an off speed hit swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Rockies. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona. Steven Souza, lifetime versus this arm. Right He's had some success. Five Steve for 11. Souza, First pitch of the at bat on its way. Steve first Rock. pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Greenland has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job at keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Yeah, Matt, and that's not an easy thing to do. I think one of the reasons is he changes speeds really well, and he throws both sides of the plate. One of the keys to missing the barrels, you have Matty to be able fish. to throw inside Stop. and throw outside, and he's about as good as it gets in baseball at missing barrels. Digging in, Christian Walker. Here comes the first pitch. Yeehaw. Fastball in there for a called strike. 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Batting fifth, the second baseman, Wilbur Flores. So bases are empty here with two gone, and up next, the utility man, Wilmer Flores. First offering on its way. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. That's taken. Now it's 0 and 2. That's a real tough pitch to hit. That's as in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch, that slider down and in. Really, the only way you're going to be able to hit that pitch is if you're looking for it down and in. And still, then it's a really difficult pitch to hit. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fouled off. Big 
bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. You're grinding so hard at the plate right there, expecting something on the corners. And what happens? Change up, middle cut. Your eyes light up, but you're just not able to barrel it up. A bouncer up the middle. Go to Murphy, you'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Diamondbacks down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Here's the catcher now, Chris Ionetta. Career line against Greinke. He's gone two for eight. Ionetta. First pitch coming. Here it is. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Ionetta. The native of the tiny state of Rhode Island. He was a fourth round selection back in the 2004 first year player draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle round, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. That it done. The pitch number 21. So one away now in the Colorado third. Up next the Denver area native pitcher Kyle Freeland. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground but a foul ball here 0 and 1. He pulls this one into right. Souza is there. Two down. Mm -hmm. The right fielder, number 19, Charlie Walker. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in the bat next, the big time RBI man, Charlie Blackman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Yanked on the ground down the line. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Third inning, no score to this point. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Colorado. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Digging in, Nick Ahmed, seven, eight, and nine to start the Leading home third. The Not back. much going on offensively so stop. far for these guys. Dick. Six up, six oh, down. Man. Let's see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. First delivery to him on the way. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Yeah, guys, the key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater, and this guy is obviously sitting something else. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Not Usually you're trying for a <laughs> swing and miss when you throw that pitch that. in a two strike count. But right. clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Coming to the plate now the pitcher for the Diamondbacks. Zach Grinke. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. No ball. One strike. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup. So I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? McMahon ranging into shallow right. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting nut. The catcher. Carson. Kelly. Digging in Carson Kelly and then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now feels like we're seeing a lot of three up three down innings no doubt about that Matt hey I've enjoyed watching him go about his business but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late yeah that remains to be seen first pitch on its way. Good bike to the slider and he takes strike one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Oh, and he's finding his groove out there now. It's 0-2. Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. <laughs> Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs and now he's got this guy down 0-2. Hit on the ground to third. Arenado has it. Throw to Murphy, you'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. On Look at a pool in a jacuzzi in the four. in the stadium. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Damn. Well, I guess that's what you get for two billion dollars. <laughs> now at the plate, Nolan Arenado. He'll lead it off against Zach Greinke to open up the inning. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The wind-up and the 0-1. Oh, and it looks like a visit to the video room may be in order after that hack. It's 0-2 now. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Marte giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record Okay, the Marte, first you need to <laughs> need to like give me some give me something to work with here. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, Daniel seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And both of these guys are working right around the same speed. 93 for one, 92 for the other. Riding in once again, Daniel Murphy. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. First pitch of the at bat. Snatched out of the Oh, come on. Base for out number two. Now batting. Shortstop. Trevor Story. What was that? <laughs> What is this guy, Wonder Woman? I mean, he's just like deflecting bullets or what? Damn. Here's the first pitch now from Granke. Hard hit ball to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. We take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning, and into bat next will be the outfielder David Dahl. He's set. Here it comes. No balls and a strike to count. Dahl is one of those prototypical left-handed bats that really excels against right-handed pitching. Sees the ball well coming from that side. 0 oh and 1. Here it comes. Line towards center field. Marte is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Rocky strand <sighs> one onto the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score.
digging in for his second at bat. Patel Marte back to the Lead top go. of the lineup the as they're back. still looking for their first Those base runner in this one. No Good doubt job. about that, Matt. They've yet to figure Marte. this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 2 now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And another foul ball. The 0 2 once more. Grounded weakly toward third. Arenado barehanded. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. The third baseman, number five, Eduardo Escobar. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. Is there a brother named Pablo? First delivery to him on the way. Now a slider, Only old people are going to get that reverse. The 0 1 pitch. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just Down playing good old-fashioned hardball right now, Dang just man. rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Now with the plate, David Peralta. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here comes the first pitch. There's a ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Finally, a take. <laughs> no, seriously, that's the first pitch they've taken the entire game. A count of one ball, one strike one ball, to David strike. Peralta. This guy has been throwing the ball so well, and that's exactly why. He has such a feel for that secondary pitch. He can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count. So one one and he fouls this one off frozen for strike three and that retires the side so one two three go the Diamondbacks through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. No home run for you this game, Chief. Well, I don't know if I have anything to say about it. And don't do that crap to me again. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And he told me that they have to find a way to be more patient at the plate. Over 90% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch. And given their lack of run production, that approach clearly isn't working. He said adjustment number one has to be to allow the at-bats to develop and look for good pitches to hit in deeper counts, where they will hopefully have more of an advantage over the pitcher. Colorado. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ian Desmond. First pitch coming. Here it is. Damn, lady. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. 
the batter, number 24, second baseman, Ryan McMahon. Now to the plate, Ryan McMahon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Flores is there. Throw on the first is in time, and Grinky's got himself two outs. Now back catcher with Ayanetta. So striding forward now, Chris Iannetta. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Fouled away. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Bullet back up the middle. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Yeah, it looked like the center 21. fielder got a fairly good jump Bio. on this ball, but he just doesn't have enough hops to bring it in. And once it's by him, you know he was going to get at least a double. Stepping in now, Kyle Freeland. And this is sliced hard down the left Got it. line. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. The throw into second. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Clichés are around for a reason. <laughs> and that hit right there the right is field. a reason they say baseball Darling. is a game what? of inches, right? Just barely fair, but that's not much consolation for the guy standing on the mound. Nice RBI two-bagger. That's my guy Freeland, man, doing it on both sides. Here's Charlie Blackman now. And he puts it on the ground to second. Taken in by Flores. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Rockies do get a run in the inning on this RBI double. Middle of the afternoon here in Phoenix. It's now 1-0 Colorado. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Tori Lovello about the Diamondbacks' offensive production, and he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things Leading turning around for them. the Diamondback. All right, the thanks, Heidi. Steven Sousa. Ready Junior. with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey, uh. Here's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Fastball called for strike two. Ooh, I'm shocked he took that pitch right there. That ain't plus 90s right there. That's mid to low 90s fastball in the honey hole. I'm surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. On oh, a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. One of the toughest pitches they hit, the straight changeup, right? Baseman. El Cambio. Hadn't right seen there. it in that entire at bat. And what happens? Walker. Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Into the box now, Christian Walker. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 
wind up and the 0 1. Yeah. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0 and 2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. He's really on a roll right now on the mound. Back to back strikeouts to wrap up the Will last Burr. inning. And now he started Will this frame with the same story four straight strikeouts and all. Standing in now, Wilmer Flores. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. In the air now, out to left field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Diamondbacks down in order. It remains 1 0. Ready once again, Nolan Arenado. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Marte on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel Murphy. Here's Daniel Murphy now. Here comes the first pitch. On the ground to the right side. Flores showing off his range. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. Now batting. Shortstop. Trevor Story. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. One for two in the ball game thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Hard on the ground towards short. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Now this gets all the way to the wall. Oh, but the feet of the shortstop is off the mark. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Now back their own pitcher Let's is absolutely it. dealing right now. So Go this on. is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. And there's the fourth wide one, so he's aboard on the intentional walk. Now batting. The so coming field. to the plate, Ian Desmond hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. 
grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And he's in safely to third. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. The batter, number two. And time will be Second called here as the pitching coach heads out to the <coughs> to try and settle this guy down a bit. Here's Ryan McMahon now. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. First offering on its way. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And now some action in that Arizona bullpen as it looks like they'll have both the lefty and a righty up to throw. Two runs, six hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Souza going back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. He pulls into second safely as they also score a pair of runs on now the play. Catcher. Wow, what a great Great's piece of hitting here Ayanetta. as he took a big swing at that one. Almost got it out of here for a three-run blast, but he'll be happy with a two-run double as well. Oh, man, another five feet up, but it would have made it. Is more than a bit relieved that that hit didn't turn Damn. into something worse. Now the Could have got five more feet of altitude. That would have been over the, the fence. Mound. And that's going to start Ugh. the end of the afternoon for Zach Greinke. Five and two third innings of work on his final ledger as he was not particularly sharp Your from the get go please. here. Matt Andrees, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Matt. Into the box, Chris Iannetta. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. He's faced Matt Andrees previously. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Comes set and the 0 1. This is grounded foul. Ready on 0 and 2. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Gone. This. Gone. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. <laughs> it's a two run. Couldn't shot seal the deal, Jordan. Left. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Wow, there's a case of a ball up in the zone. Not the easiest pitch in the world to get underneath and drive it out of the ballpark. Good piece of hitting right there. Ball up in the zone. He didn't miss it. He destroyed it. Stepping in now, Kyle 21. Freeland. Kyle. A swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Good play to try and grab it, though. Give first base credit. He almost kneel snagged it. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Two out, nobody on. Towards second. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. Oh, and man. The side is retired. Good a play. Ticketed for right center, but the ticket is revoked as he goes up to pull this one down. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. That was a good play. A 
at the plate, Nick Ahmed. He got called out on Leading strikes his last time back. through. Yeah, always That's frustrating to go down looking. Yeah. Everybody does it, oh, though. Man. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the set back. And there's oh. ball one. And it's one and two. Give him what he's absolutely not expecting and see if he bites. Gets him looking up around the letters. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably no too good to take. 25. And he's down on strikes Matt. for the second time. And yeah, three. that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still Ladies be out. Gentlemen. But the only difference would be complete. he wouldn't be able to complain he's about it. He'll tomorrow Vargas. We'll get Number the call 15. here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Hill tomorrow. Oh, Wind up and the 0 1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Vargas, a Venezuelan born ball player. He's a second year big leaguer. Hit softly down the line at first, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0 2. Struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to Sal rack Bally. them up now, guys. Yes, I've got eight Talk strikeouts there. in my scorebook for him now, Bally. so he's got good stuff. Into the box now, Carson Kelly. And there's a swing and a miss at an off-speed pitch to start him out. Nothing in one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here comes the 0-1. Come on, chase it. Chase it for me. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But that it works. Foul. It's 0-2 <clears> now. Diamondback still searching for that first hit of the ball game. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. They still find themselves down six zip. Welcome back to Chase Field here in Phoenix. Rockies out on top in this one as we head to the seventh. But before we get started, let's get a look at the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. T.J. McFarland please. enters now, now in a mop-up roll as he'll try to keep the deficit. Well, right the guy got a third of an inning, and that was it. Damn. That's not showing much confidence in your man. Your, your man there. Starting things as we begin the seventh. Charlie Blackman. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball here. 0 and 1. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Yeah, right to the first baseman. <laughs> Damn, Chuck, I feel you. Oh, uh. Man. 
ready for another chance. Nolan Arenado. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. On a line, that's a base hit. Just an yeah, he's got a screamer down the third base line. Screaming off the bat, if you will, as show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. <laughs> Stepping in and ready for another shot, Daniel Murphy, 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, not his game so far. He's such a good hitter. We all kind of expect him to pick up two or three hits most of the time. That's not really how baseball works, though. Damn, dude, you got too much beer going on there. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. <laughs> Just snuck it over the fence. Love it. So a two-run homer down the line in right field as they've widened this lead to eight now. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Standing in now, the Trevor Story. Trevor. As he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center, and that's going to get down for extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double. His third hit this afternoon. Now back. Just an absolute Let's laser that laser. time. Screaming off Dull. the bat, if you will. And show track tells us it went out at 112 miles an hour. Those are the line drives you can hear as they go by. Into the box, David Dahl. There's a swing and a high deep oh, drive headed just to the foul. Right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. From the belt, kicks and deals. High and deep to straightaway right. Souza going back. Gone. Yes. <laughs> Two two-run homers in a row. <laughs> it's a two-run homer for David Dahl as they just continue to pour it on here. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. d -Row, some days the fellas walk in with their hitting shoes on, and this looks like You're one of those thinking, games. Please. Yeah, but there's a saying going around the dugout the right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants a chance to get into that batter's box. Yoan Lopez comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Now batting. In now, field. Ian Desmond. Ian Desmond. Lifted in the air out to center field. Marte is in pursuit. He gets there, and that's oh. the second out. Damn. The batter, number 24, second baseman, Ryan McMahon. Digging in and looking for more, Ryan McMahon. He's working on a one for three thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. On the ground near home, but that one rolls foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Seventh inning stretch time coming up here in the desert. Rockies lead it 10 0.
Coming to the plate now, Patel Marte. He starts off the Bring inning against a guy who struck out the side last the inning. How did they get to him here? Patel. I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. Yeah. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. First offering on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. And quickly there's one down to lead off the frame. The first baseman, number five, Eduardo Escobar. Stepping in, Eduardo Escobar. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First delivery to him on the way. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Oh, Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. And a good two strike no. pitch, but he misses high one and two. One ball, two three. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 oh, 2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Popped him up. Murphy waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting, the left fielder. David Peralta. Standing in, David Peralta. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Here comes the first pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Dahl. And that ends the inning. Diamondbacks down in order. Starting to look bleak. Down 10 nothing. Ready for another shot now. Chris Iannetta. He went deep for a two run homer in his previous at bat. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth. Up next, the Denver area native pitcher Kyle Freeland. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Zero. Good slider there. Gets a swing and miss. One out. Nobody on. Looked Point like he two. tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. Now a swing at a ball popped in the air back behind short. Thomas uh -huh. ranges back and he has it for route number two. The right fielder, number 19. And now time is going to be called here as we've got some Yahoo out there on the field. <laughs> and per Major League Baseball, we're not going to show it to you. But security's got him surrounded now. And he's likely going to spend the rest of the afternoon in the pokey. <laughs> Stepping into the box.